the environment protection rules of 1986 and the environmental protection act of 1986 were enacted and came into force the same year while the environment protection act had 26 sections and four chapters the environment protection rule had a series of sections that prescribed the standards for the discharge of emissions of pollutants standard operating procedures directions and prohibitions on various industrial activities both these legislations provided for the protection and the improvement of the environment and empower the central government to take measures that it deemed fit for enhancing the environmental quality in this video we will understand the amendments made to the environment protection rules and identify the potential concerns for the industrial establishments that this amendment concerns hello and welcome to enter climate my name is shalin verma and let's start this video The recent amendment to the 1986 Environment Rules were the Environment Protection Amendment Rules of 2023 which is related to the revision in the emission standards of particulate matters for industrial boilers. The Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change notified this amendment on May 17, 2023. These amendments were done to lay down the separate standards for the different types of fuels used in industrial boilers and promote the use of new technologies that are less polluting and ultimately improves the air quality. So, let's see what will change after the implementation of these amendment rules. Earlier in the serial number 70 in schedule 1A which referred to small boilers that laid down the particulate matter emission limits in four categories after the amendment the categories have been reduced to 3 and the particulate emission criteria have also been modified the new limits have been provided based on the type of industrial boiler fuel wise this table shows the present emission limits and its comparison with the revised limits now apart from the revision of the emission limits for particulate matter the formula for determining the minimum stack height in meters and normalization criteria for particulate matter has been shown now the stack height shall not be less than 11 meters for boilers of less than 2 ton per hour steam generation capacity and 30 meters for boilers of higher steam generation capacity next coming to the normalization criteria for particulate matter the measured values of pm so2 and nox are to be normalized at 6% o2 for solid fuel and 3% o2 for liquid fuels on a dry basis for comparison with the above standards this formula shows the calculation of the normalized value now these standards are for industrial boilers using coal or lignite pet coke bagasse agrofuel furnace oil light diesel oil low sulfur heavy stock boilers of bagasse or agrofuel based power plants and also for thermal fluid heaters and hot air generators running on equivalent fuel consumption basis for boilers of coal or lignite based power plants the emission standard notified for thermal power plants through the notification dated 7th december 2015 will be applicable now coming to the relevance of these amendments for industrial establishments these rules are expected to have a significant impact on a number of industries power plants refineries and cement factories will be required to invest in pollution control equipments significantly other sectors such as manufacturing and chemical industries will also be affected and will need to bring changes to conform with the new rules let's identify some of the foreseeable changes some industries may be reluctant to comply with the new rules as they may be costly to implement in many cases there can be a lack of resources to enforce these new rules in the industry or a lack of awareness among businesses and the general public although the new rules will be applicable from may 2025 onwards the industries still need to strategically move towards adopting renewable fuels and eco friendly practices into their operation so if you are a business owner and want to make your business compliant and ready with the applicable environmental regulations contact our network of environmental experts for a comprehensive environmental compliance solutions and find the best eco friendly solution for your business call and the climate experts today from the details shown that was all for today's video thank you for watching